Lani, Lani Flores, um, uh, live in Pukaku, Waimea. I was involved with the PTO. I was still in high school and we was involved with the meetings, activities, just go around all the different meetings. But I think one of the experiences out of the PTO was in, which kind of got us, not, like, caused the more the conflict from outside and inside is that it cannot be an anti-military issue. And I'm saying that, I mean, we understand the military. It cannot be an anti-military issue because that, that it, it, it caused so much, it, we had to go through so much obstacles with our own people and people in general in the movement and just saying it's not anti-military. It's Aloha Aina. And we go, we're talking about Aloha Aina. We're not, could be anybody doing the military or anybody. We know we're just talking about Aloha Aina. And we, I think we stay in a focus that it's about our love of the land, the earth mother, Papanamoku. We stay in that kind of focus. Because once we step into, we're against the military, even though they're the perpetrators of the, of the crime, then we, we have so much resistance we got to deal with on the outside, inside. But we just go back to the focus of this, it's about Aloha Aina. Then anybody, everybody can agree to that. We're not, we're not, against, we're not, and we're not against anything, anybody. We're about a protection of our land and our Aina, and we're about Aloha for the Aina. And no matter what ethnic group, what culture, what religion, everybody can <coughs> embrace that. And even if you're in the military or not, you can still embrace that. So that's just one. I think one of the one of my recommendations. In whatever we do, it has to be in, in the for something that's that's positive instead of trying to go against something. Because we all know who the perpetrators are, who's who's causing the problems, but we will stay with that concept of about aloha for the land. Good point. And I, I think that was. So I, I was in all the meetings and things with all the, the trials and all the things that was going on at that time. And I could see what everything from the inside and outside of PQ was happening. Other than that, so we bring back to this island here. And I can share the. So we look, you know, this is one of the flyers back here. So the island has a, we call Pico. Pico are, you call it Pico Porto, but there's many different concepts of a people, but the people on this island, there's different types of people. You know, we're talking about people, P-I-K-O, from Hawaiian. So there's many sacred people on this island that have different connections and different significance on this island. So the top of our mountain, Mauna Wakea, also known as Mauna Kea, is a Pico. It's like the Pico on top of our head. So Mauna, Mauna Wakea is this ancient name. Mountain of Sky Father, it's in, it reaches into the heavens. So we have Wakea, the, the heavens, the skies, the atmosphere, everything above us is in the realm of Wakea. And we stand on Papa, also known as Papa Hanamoku, Earth Mother. And so this mountain reaches into the realm of Wakea. And so that peak, the, the, the significance of the, the top of the summit of the mountain is like this peak right here at the top of right here. It's a connection to the divine creator, to all those in above, and these divine energies and life forces come into this island, to this top people, just like it comes into us as individuals. So we have life forces that come into this island, to the top of the people, and we also have other energies that come out of the top of the people. So what's happening on top of the mountain is all, all these things are connected. So what's happening on top of the mountain right now, there's an obstruction, disturbance, it prevents these energies, life forces that come into the mountain and pick them up. So the question is, how do you know that? Well, you know, is it not, it's not written in a book? No, it's not written in a book. Hmm. Because there's ancestors and others, divine beings and other guardians that are at these places. And at times we've been on a mountain in ceremony, they have shared certain things with us. So in regards, so that's a pico there, that's another thing that's going on on this island. On the disguise of, of science and education. So much things happening on this island. So that's one people being disturbed. The other people is at Puakolo. So Puakolo, if you look at it on this, this 
this um, poster, flyer I should say here. In the middle is Kuakolo. Kuakolo is another pico. It's an energetic pico of this island. What I mean energetic, there's energies that run north and south and east and west and it intersects right at Kuakolo. It's right in, it's the center of the island. It's like a, you can think of an umbilical cord, an energetic umbilical cord is in the center of the island. And how do you know that? How do we know that? Because we have ceremonies at Kwakaloa, parts of in the perimeter of Kwakaloa, and ancestral guides, I mean ancestors and divine beings have shared that. That's a that's that's an energetic pico. And that has been disturbed on many different levels. So we have the physical disturbance that is occurring there, of course, with the live fire training. That's one of the disturbances. The other disturbance, there's an ener energetic disturbance that's occurring here. And, 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 and part of the energetic disturbance, there's, a, there's, a, there's another disturbance of, it's, it's, a, it's an energy disturbance, but it's like a mental energy disturbance. So you have physical disturbance, you have spiritual disturbance, you have another energy disturbance, which is, is which is, which is warfare and and in these games of war they call it. So uh, where there should be tranquility and peace in the center of our people of the island, there's a there's an imprint. This, and this imprint is by humans, of course, and there actually is an imprint that's being imposed on that area is of is of war and disturbance. So there's different levels of things that are happening there. So when people are coming up there, they're coming with the mentality of fighting, of killing, of attacking somebody else, of killing somebody else. That's what they're training for. So humans cause imprints on places they go. And so there's different levels of things that are impacting that place there. Physical, spiritual, and energetic. And so, whether you understand it or not, if you just understand that we do something's happening to our island, and everybody who chooses to make this place their home or chooses to be part of this island, it's more than just being a Hawaiian or a Kanaka as to well, our land, and it goes back to having aloha for the island. And so it's it's a bigger picture because as I think as Jim was saying, it's not isolated. It's connected to many things that are happening around this world, around these islands. It's a shift in consciousness. And if we can all connect in a shift of consciousness and helping the others awaken, <coughs> that what we're doing to our land and to our aina and to Mother Earth is not in the best interest for us and our next generations. So as I agree with Jim that it's about connecting all these different coalitions because everybody's about the same thing. But it's a GMO, it's about the land and the people. It's all interconnected and we can tie it all together. There's going to be a greater movement and a greater movement is humanity remembering their divine connection to the land and to each other and to the Creator. And with that, we'd like to say mahalo to all of you folks for just being here today. I know how hard it's come to a meeting. I'd like to say mahalo to Moani and Jim and all the others that helped me coordinate this. Because for Tekahol Lobby started like this, even smaller. It was just a handful that got together, got concerned. And then, and like Terry said, it's hopeful. Because what happened with Kahol Lobby is gives us hope that things can shift and change. And it just takes people having a focus and working together. And, and I say, we just uh, stay in a focus of aloha. Mahalo to all once again. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mahalo. Mahalo.